What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV Daily. We've got tons of Samsung Galaxy S21 news, but before we jump into that, let's talk about this phone, the Galaxy Z Fold 2. If you've been waiting for the One UI 3.0 update, I meant to mention this yesterday because it actually started yesterday, but I forgot to mention it. The One UI 3.0 update is rolling out for the phone now. I, in America, don't have this update, but it is rolling out through the world, so we should get it over the, if you haven't gotten it yet, you should get it in the next few days, weeks, maybe a month, who knows, but it is rolling out, so keep your fingers crossed, you'll get it sooner than later. Now let's get into the Galaxy S21 series of phones. We have a lot of photos and things to look at, so let's just dive right in. All right, these first set of photos come from Roland Kwan, who's, his tweet says, when you start marketing the included storage to make sure no one notices you left out the expansion option, AKA the micro SD card, doesn't seem like it's gonna be in the phone. I, don't, I, I believe it's in the S21 Ultra, but not the 21 Plus or the 21. He says, more marketing collateral from retail for the S21 Plus and the S21 Ultra. The first photo, protect from splashes, raindrops, and dust. It's IP68 rated. That's basically what this means right there. Same as all the other phones that have been released recently for Samsung that are flagship phones. The next one, hyper fast 5G to download seasons in seconds. So, you know, again, 5G, it's been out since last year. No delete marathon necessary. This is where they get saying showing 512 gigabytes of storage, not for all the phones, but for you know this specific version. And that's a big deal because you probably don't need a micro SD card because of so much storage. It's all in the details, 64 megapixel phone. This will be the S21, S21 Plus version of the phone uh, because of that 64 megapixel camera. The next photo, farewell to far away with new dual zim lens system and it shows off that you're going to be able to uh you know capture things from far away when you take photos and then the last photo in this series says light up the night and capture it in vivid color so it's really promoting the nighttime photo views uh, that you'll be able to take with the galaxy s21 series of phones here's some of the custom colors first let's look at the galaxy s21 ultra 5g and we're gonna see you know black and then that you know kind of bluish color dark blue or uh, Pacific Ocean blue, like apples. <laughs> you get the brown, which looks actually really nice. A lot better than I thought. I still, number one so far is the blue though. And then we get like, kind of like a gray. And then we got a, you know, shiny silver type color. These are really, really pretty colors. I am digging these colors a lot. Not, they're not very feminine, I don't think. Maybe the last one is, but um, I don't know. They're cool. They're very cool awesome looking colors. The next one shows off the S21 Plus colors and you get red, you get the purple, you get the red, I'm sorry, black, purple, red, uh, you get the Mystic Bronze, you get that silver color. And again, these colors look really nice as well. I still think the S21 Ultra colors do look a little bit better though. I'm gonna show these photos again just because it's you know been a couple days, but if you get an S21 Ultra and 5G, in some countries, not everywhere, the pre-order gifts will be, as you can see down below, a Galaxy Buds Pro pair of headphones, earphones, and also the Galaxy Smart Tags, which will allow you to find things. So you'll get two free gifts when you get the Galaxy S21 Ultra 5G. The other one is the S21, S21 Plus, which shows you getting Galaxy Buds Live and Galaxy Smart Tags. Again, not everywhere, but should be a fair amount of places. Now let's show these other photos, which, probably gonna make some people happy. This is gonna be our last uh, set of photos we're gonna to see today. What's in the box? And you see the box itself and the Galaxy S21. You get a quick start guide, USB type C cable, and an injection, ejection pin. No headphones, no charging uh, brick with the phone this year at all. Kind of disappointing. So be prepared, hopefully you have a charger left over uh, from uh, last year's version or whatever you buy, bought one. And then here's another one just showing off a, a lighter color for the S21 and you get the same thing. C, Type-C cable, ejection pin, quick start guide, and then the phone and that's it. No headphones and also again, no uh, charging brick. How does that make you feel? That is your question of the day to have no charger inside the box. Do you feel like you're getting gypped or you don't really care? I'm kind of in the middle. I generally don't take it out of the box Sometimes I do, just depends if I'm like, I need a ch uh, charging uh, cable uh, brick. 
Oh yeah, I have this one, I'll grab it, but generally I don't grab it. Let me know what you guys do, and if you're disappointed. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys down the road. Peace!